Oh, where are the credits already? The thing was really short. The thing is short like Limbo. And the other game that I forget the name of. It's Limbo and like slash something else. There's, there's, there's like two like similar. 3D artists? Oh yeah. And it was really fun. It was it wasn't like super scary, but it was still like enjoyable and stuff. It was still scary. I got I got I was really spooked. Towards the end it was more like supernatural. But that's weird. Anyway, uh, just to do a quick thing, I'll, as always, when it was a creative of a game, I try to do like a quote unquote, like my thoughts of it. Because I don't know, I just have to keep like what I thought of the game, like first hand. And it's like, it was really fun. The puzzles were fu were like very simple and stuff. Um, the horror, like the, the spooky vibes <laughs> were really good. I hate it. I like, you feel so weak. As like a little tiny witty yellow raincoat the trophy achievement or description are very sp creepy i only have 20 percent of achievements apparently i have got the credits what <laughs> i'm confused <laughs> what achievement is there in this thing i put like they light all the candles i put some head in find all their friends hug them all um break all the statues i, I missed one that i found because i didn't know i could just throw them like break them but yeah, uh, this game's not bad. I'm glad I could play it. I never bought it because I was I was confused because on Switch is a different price, PlayStation at different price. But now I could play it was from PS Plus, and I'm really glad. I'm probably will get the DLC. Like good friend of mine saying that they're worth it. So see if, if I love the base game, I'll I like the DLC. So I say yeah, like not just get the DLC. Right now, today, no, no because the, I don't want to do uh, for morning stream. I just want the end to be short and sweet. I don't want it to be like forever long, which is why I, I was okay with playing the little timer because also it wasn't too long of a game. But yeah, can I skip these? I cannot. Okay, but yeah, game is cute. It's scary. I hated it. I loved it. I hated the part with the fat people because I, I'm not, I don't have a phobia. It's just I hate. So no, it's not that I hate. Again, I don't hate anything. It went. If you, it's fine. It's just if someone has a body that is different than the normal, I get insanely uncomfortable around them. It's not bad or wrong that they have different body. It's just I just feel un uncomfortable around them. That's it. That's just that's just it. It's, it's on me. It's not on them. They're perfectly valid. Like someone that is very overweight. I find very scary because it, they're just so different, which is why I'm also very uh, wary of my own health and weight, even though I've never done too much, but I eat less than I should because I'm just wary of my belly. But yeah, that, again, it's just me. That's my own mental state. That's my that's my problem. That's my thing. So that was spooky. The long arm dude, I think, was the scariest part of this game, <laughs> because he's just like falling like high and then like, just grab you away. Oh, I hated the long arm. The the two chefs, I think, were the most fun part because you can you can like run away from them actually, and I think it was really fun. The start was very slow. I think that's my only comp. If I had to say one complaint of this game is that the the start of it before you meet like the the people like the the beasts and monsters. It was like pure puzzles and like some slugs. The game was very slow. And I died mostly in that one room where I just had to walk, but I walk really not straight. I look like I was a drunk little thing. It's like fall off and fall off and fall off. But yeah, if I had to do like conclusive thoughts, uh, the game is great. The the ambience is amazing. I got re I got spooked the entire way through. The the ending is has a lot to explore but there is DLC so I'm hoping to look for that for the base game I don't know how more price the game is but this could be like a like $20 game I think 20 for now pricing like maybe 30 35 for now pricing but I think this could this for me getting this game free yeah 100% worth it if it's like 15 20 dollars or like on sale for ten dollars five dollar if I like on, on the massive sales, go get the game. It's actually great. I enjoyed it. And for me, for me, as a person that hates scary and spooky games, this was uh, this wasn't too bad. 
It was manageable. The start of the game, we had that sell all the, the setting, was the scariest thing. And the long arm dude was the first like thing you see was the scariest. And then I got more used to it, like being like, okay, there's other like being around. And I got more used to it. I got less scared. Almost because it looked almost more familiar. Like, okay, it's a toilet, it's a bedroom, it's a kitchen. It's not what the fudge am I? It's a prison, it's wet, it's sewers, you know? I don't know. I got used to it after a bit more. It was great. It was a nice experience. Thumbs up for me. I suggest it. But yeah. No, it's good and not skippable.